Well, there is our wheels that we're going to use. Fortunately, I don't have the right lug nuts, but I don't mind that. But I do want the box to go just a hair bit back. That's a little too centered. That uh, shouldn't be like that on these trucks. Front wheel looks the same, so kind of give everything a little bit of a shuffle back. And uh, yeah, I like the wheel a little bit closer to the front. Not much, like we only got about eh, half inch, something like that. We got a Scooby stuff, but that's all right. That wheel doesn't fit too bad in there. Looks better than the original wheels. Not a wheel choice of mine, but yeah, I don't know how I'm centered on the body at all. It's got a little bit of meat on there though. All right. Well, I guess today's game plan is uh, start building some cap mounts. I think I'm gonna slightly get it loosely mounted. I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna get the forward back thing figured out first here really quick. And uh, then we'll like pull the box off stuff. I just need a visual. I'm basically gonna pop the hood, put the pry bar in there. Just keep wiggling it a little bit. Get everything about where I want it. And uh, then I can kind of dismantle this stuff and start building some cab mounts. Square it up, cab mount. I won't worry too much about the front clip because we might try to slip that motor in. I'll have to turn this truck around somehow uh, so I can get the motor and stuff in through the front. But first things first, let's uh, shuffle this back and uh, then we can dismantle, get it on the hoist and start making some body mounts for the cab. Well, I think I got it nailed where I want. Should be good, don't know about that. I have the box semi-squared. I don't know side to side, but I know the spacing's good. <clears throat> I had to cut the mounts off the box and we got to make something up back here yet. Uh, once I know more, I might just tack it in place, but we have to do some finessing up here because this brace is like rubbing hard on the fuel tank. So we'll have to relief that some more and uh kind of do some do some work we'll have to do an angle edge all around for the wood to sit on along with some bracing to go across but uh yeah i think overall this is gonna work out pretty good so we just have this glamorous setup right now these were the mounts somebody made so we'll probably be able to reuse them i have one kind of hobbled over there the inner tubs we'll have to trim down yet. <clears throat> yep, not too bad. I guess next step is gonna be, we'll roll this up and uh, we'll pull that off. We know this is good. We'll get the truck up on the lift and I'll probably pull the front sheet metal off because I like where it is now. So that'll come off, running boards off. Mm, we'll leave that for now. And then we can kind of just make sure the cab is square, side to side, kind of square it, and then uh, start building some mounts. 
I know the rear has these factory ones. I don't know if I can reuse them or not. We'll see. We will see. <clears throat> Until then, I do believe these running board mounts are going to work. So I'm going to pull them off this frame. And we got to get this, just the front bumper off. Because we will need that for this truck as well. So we got the truck up, I pulled the clip off, doesn't need to be on there. Kind of just figuring, we know the cab's sitting in the right place, we just don't know if I'm squared up on the frame yet. Uh, I'm probably going to lift the cab up a little bit. I don't want it too, too low. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of just figuring out what's happening here, like the frame is level. So the cab probably should be level. That's my guess. We're pretty close. But because it's resting on here, you can see here this half is resting just off. This one is on. So we know the whole cab's got to go shuffle over a little bit. Kind of had that feeling. I'm a little mixed on trying to use these mounts. They're, uh, they kind of go there, but it's very dependent on the front cab. Like, you know, it's almost like the back of the cab can kind of sway because it's like these two mounts in the front are gonna be the only things that just lock this cab in place. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll play with it a little bit, but there's a good chance I might not be using those and I'll make up something. But first task at hand is to get the cab uh, squared up side to side, make sure we're equally sitting everywhere. I don't wanna move it from where it's at because like I say, it's, it's actually where I need it to be. So next step is I'm just going to jack it up. We're going to kind of quickly shuffle the cab over, make sure we're square. And then we'll look at, uh, well, making something better than this. <laughs> I just don't know if I want to be a little higher because if you look where this tranny cross member is, it's just, I'm going to have a really big tunnel, which might be fine because I'm not sure if he's putting bucket seats in here or he's going to leave a bench in here. I'm not hundred percent, but anywho, first things first, square the cab.
Well, that works pretty good. We, uh, I have the brace running along this inner brace inside. Like, it's got a lot of support. I'll probably put a rubber pad across the whole thing anyways. The only thing I am really hoping, um, like nothing's fully welded in yet. Ugh, here we go. We got here, we got a rubber pad up on top. Uh, this will get fully welded in, but I'm trying to keep the mounts like super, super simple on this truck. So then when we get up back here, I'm just really, really hoping that when I get the drive shaft and the powertrain in, I'm gonna have, that'll be okay and it'll clearance that. Hope, cross my fingers. I mean, it's a pretty big motor, so it shouldn't be too bad. Anywho, we got to now, oh, because I know the chassis is level, I'll have to raise up the front of this cab till it levels out, and then uh, we can start looking at these front mounts. So I just have them on blocks, but I'll probably just, now that the back is supported, I can uh, kind of jack up the front here, figure out what I want to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> Should be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But anyways, uh, we will just cookie cutter this till something works. Well, part of me is making this way more complicated than it needs to be. So I was going to have this plate and a bunch of gussets and do some weird stuff. And then I just kind of started Legoing pieces together like on that side. And uh, well, this is actually just plain simple, easy. So I'm changing the plan. I'm going to cut, just uh, do a slash cut. The fender mount's actually going to be able to mount here somewhere. Uh, but I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna basically make this setup here. We'll punch our hole on top, have a hole on the bottom yet so we can get access to the bolt, do all that jazz. Or we can probably just bolt it right through there, really. And then uh, we'll reuse some of that plate just to do a gusset on the outside. Maybe a slight wedge off the back. I mean, most of that is like crazy overkill, but I think it's just gonna make a super easy mount. Like easy peasy, right? The simpler, the better. That's the kind of the way I go with it. So the plan is I'm going to cut another one of these. We're going to tee it off, weld it. I'm just going to do just a slash cut on here just so it looks pretty. But I'll probably leave it open. So if dirt gets in there, it can at least go out. Yes. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to make two of these. Either side, done. Punch the hole. Slash cut. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Cut that plate up and we're gonna use it just as a gusset on the side here. We'll use some of it. Just to extra strength for everything. Mint. Like it.
Well, my pie cutting game definitely wasn't on there. <laughs> we had to do a little bit of fill. Anyways, this bracket's gonna go on. You've seen me drill this out and I put a slug in here. It's just when I bolt the body down, I don't wanna pinch the pipe, so we just stuck one of those in there. And for the end game, it's still a little warm, but uh, we're pretty much do a rubber mount, do that in here. We're gonna burn this up down here and then we'll do a gusset plate along here as well. Pretty much major overkill, but eh. We cut these other plates, so we may as well use them. We'll do something with it. I'll probably just come in on this angle or do something, but plenty strong for holding the cab on anyways. All right. Well, let's get a rubber mount into there, a bolt through it, clean this up a bit, and uh, burn her in.
Well, that was pretty easy to get carried away with. <laughs> we did put a few speed holes in it. I uh, ended up cutting a different plate just because it didn't seem make sense to overlap like crazy amounts of it for no reason. Um, it's pretty burned in. We still got to burn more around the backside and stuff, but I'll do that when I get the uh, we pull the cab off. So I guess both sides are essentially in. It's sitting on the new mounts now. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is uh, we'll drop it down. We'll hang the clip and we'll figure out what we're going to do for the front rad cradle mount. Uh, the, the, this thing has a rad support that sits back here and like the fender braces go on to it, but I almost need to move it ahead just so it'll work well. I might be able to tie this in with a plate over just for the for the rad supports. The rad support? No, the um, fender supports so they're not flopping around. I don't know. We'll put it in and we'll kind of how come up with a game plan how we're gonna do these essentially the front here we got to do do the the rad mount cradle mount like basically the mount for the front of the sheet metal once we get that thing in there we're uh, pretty golden like the front of the the truck is will be like permanently mounted properly <laughs> I'm really happy how this thing's turning out. So we've notched the original rad cradle. And then if you look up top, that's like right over here. Whoop. You look right here, this is the original bolt hole that was supposed to be in the middle of this thing. <clears throat> so we're, re we're set to the front more, but in the same process, uh, my rad fits in there really nice. I'll have to lose this piece up here, which is kind of common. That's this brace up here. We ditch that because the rad can end up sitting a little higher. We'll be golden. Uh, my mounts down there look good. You can see how my fender brace kind of hits up to it. We'll have to modify, make up a little bit of something there. But for the most part, that lower part of the fender brace is like on the money. Looking good. We'll have to trim the fender some more. It's a little excessive now because it's not the same front end in there anymore, but we'll uh, we'll fix that up. Get it better. Anyway, it's going to lift it up, and I'm going to try to make a basic brace for this thing to bolt down onto. Shouldn't be too hard, but let's see what we got under there. So I made a very simple front brace. At least this is how I'm going to do it. This is going to sit on top of the frame. And then this one will sit where we're gonna have our rubber uh, bushing. So if you can see, I cut these taper just so we get a little extra room, but it'll just, this'll just nicely sit actually on top of the frame rail like that, to which then we'll burn. We're gonna do caps here and build bumper brackets, but this'll burn on here flat plate across, 
and then we'll add some gussets. The front doesn't do a lot other than it holds the sheet metal and the radiator. That's really all it does. So it doesn't have to be like over engineered or overbuilt. That's plenty for what's going on in the front of the truck. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get that thing loosely bolted in place. And uh, I got to get a, I think I have some bushings yet for the front, but we'll uh, give it a little bit of space and then uh, loosely bolt it, weld it together and then we're kind of got the front end buttoned in. Not too bad, eh? Pretty easy. Well, we have, our mount is tacked in. So it's kind of there. That needs to get fully welded when I pull the clip off. I got here, I think I'll round these or do something, but just to give a bunch of extra support. Uh, I think it makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Anywho, I think that's where we're at here. We'll kind of drop it down and see how everything looks on the front part, but I think that worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. This side's just a wee bit higher, but we haven't mounted any of that inside cradle yet, so I'm pretty good. Not too bad. Right, buddy? Not bad for a day. Well, a little over, a little over a day. So we got front rear mounts. Uh, I am gonna close those in. I'm not gonna leave those open. This thing, it still needs some tweaking, but we haven't actually fully mounted this. I tacked the fenders in place, so that size is a wee bit high. Uh, this unit here is still loose, but I kind of gonna leave it right now. And until I get the motor in, then I'll judge where I'm actually, you know what I mean? Because I can slot that plate yet if I have to, if I can move this cradle in and out, because maybe I can run the mechanical fan on that LS. We don't know yet. That'd be kind of cool. I would think that's awesome. One less thing to go wrong. But anywho, I think that's where we're at. Uh, I think till the next one. We're gonna, uh, I think next round is gonna be working on the box, right? We're gonna do the box. So, as always folks, I uh, wanna thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.